Hi, thanks for tuning in again. The second part of our Facebook video series. I'm here with Graham Spector. Hello. And uh, we're going to basically go over Facebook professionalism. Uh, I'm going to ask Graham some questions about what he, what we should be posting on our Facebooks, how we want our Facebook to look. Um, obviously, some of the obvious things, you want your profile picture to be something that people can relate you to. You want it something that is going to be professional, yet gives a, an image of who, who you are personally. And your Facebook profile is is you. It's, it describes who you are in different uh, fields of interest or whatever industry you're in. So I guess my, my first question would be like, what are some big don'ts about Facebook profile, profile uh, what you post and what you're putting up? And I th I th Let me just say right off the bat, thank you for having me in a video that where the center and the focus is professionalism. Yeah. Because that the irony is not dead around the office. That is just one. <laughs> so thank you right off the bat, yeah. Tom. Um, a big don't is a do. And let me put a spin on that. What's the number one rule of communication? Communication majors uh, who are now in their parents' basements throughout the nation should know this. The number one rule is to know your audience. And so you always have to know who you're talking to and who you're posting things to and who's going to be able to see that. So a don't is to don't post something blindly and just think it's going to please everybody that you're friends with. Um, privacy settings are anyone like me's best friend um, because you want to make sure that whoever, whatever you're posting on Facebook uh, is if it's going to be seen by everybody it's not going to going to offend one of those people um, so like you said a profile picture uh, is the one thing on Facebook that everybody can see so that's the one thing you want to make sure is always professional um, another professional thing is to obviously make sure all your uh, work info is as detailed as possible um, you want to make sure your interests and activities, this is all common public knowledge that people are going to be able to see um, from you. You want to make sure you don't love drinking. It's okay to love drinking, but just don't tell Facebook that you love drinking. <laughs> um, if you are in an industry where you have to be very self-sufficient and kind of go out and make connections yourself, something um, like a photographer or if you're an artist, um, these are great ways to kind of utilize Facebook pages, I always say. Any uh, photographers out there, artists, any uh, musicians, anything like that, Facebook page pages are a great way to kind of keep church and state separate where you'll have your own private Facebook account, but you're able to kind of help grow your own business through a Facebook page. So if you're on Facebook and you're trying to go out and get a next uh, gig, be it for photography or musician, anything like that, and you're using your personal account, you could kind of be polarizing some people by with what you're posting and opinions and photos that people can see of you. You want to make sure that your privacy settings are the way it's set up. You can use the list, list feature on the privacy settings and uh, put people you don't want to see certain things into that list, but you also want to make sure that they can't see uh, your common interests, other photos that have been tagged of you, your status, God knows what you're talking about, anything like that. You just don't want to have that in there, but obviously utilize Facebook pages as a professional networking tool. I also encourage people to use the professional kind of mini LinkedIn's built into Facebook, such as Be Known and Branch Out. These are great uh, mm -hmm. job searching tools too, which kind of plays into the whole professionalism aspect that Absolutely. you summoned me here for. Yeah, so definitely. professional. Well, uh, maybe real quickly we can talk. We can come on uh, Facebook's rolling out the new security features. We just yeah. talked a little bit about that mm -hmm. in another video, but. Um, how, how will I be able to use the new features of security to maybe target my audience or do any of these things you're talking about here? Well, um, like I said, the list feature is a great way to kind of aggregate and you know just focus down a group of your friends that may all fit into one category. This is something that Google Plus really capitalized on. They made it uh, kind of foolproof for what content you want to be sharing and what set of eyes is going to be seeing that. So if I want to post a music video to Facebook, Maybe I don't want everyone seeing that. Yeah. So I have a group of friends, and it's just called Friends List, and I know that those are the only people who are going to be seeing that piece of content. Facebook is about to roll out features that are going to make it very easy for everyone to start doing the same exact thing in a very much more manageable situation. We all know I said at a conference, some guy had the best quote of the night. He said, I feel it's much easier to live a wholesome, clean life than to figure out the privacy settings on Facebook where we have to be covering it up. And that's unbelievably true. Yeah, but Facebook is about to change all that. They're going to make everything neat and clean so they can say, who do you want to see this? And you're going to be able to, you know, 
group a bunch of people together and make it so that you're not crossing any boundaries and you don't actually have to worry about what you're sharing on the most popular social network out there. Yeah, definitely. So this is basically a, there's a there's a line between what content you post up and maybe what information you post up and who you who you want to talk to. I mean, if you're using any social network for the point of actually networking in a professional manner, basically what LinkedIn is always used for, you're basically selling yourself. And yeah. so you don't want to post anything or be associated with anything, and that includes liking pages because if you like a page, whether uh, privacy settings tell you or not that's m very common knowledge and not only does the company who owns that page now know that you enjoy it but the rest of the internet pretty much knows it as well so don't associate yourself with anything and don't post anything or even click like to anything that you shouldn't be associated with in a professional manner absolutely so basically uh, in terms of the way that the my, my profile looks is there ever a point where you can say there's too many likes or too much content in terms of my information and what I'm putting on there by myself. There's definitely no such thing as too much information, too many likes, as long as they're all okay with what your goal is professionally and from a networking standpoint. So, especially at Grow Social, we can never say you know too many likes is yeah. a bad thing. That's never going to be the case. However, you are you're constantly selling yourself, and you're always you know kind of branding your own personal professional you know aura yeah you know I hear you so yeah you want to make sure everything is tight you want to make sure everything's professional you don't want to go and click Harold and Kumar yeah. go to White Castle as your favorite movie I know it is it's a decent movie but, but there's some inappropriate things in there Absolutely. and a potential employer is going to see that very true it's not wholesome Thomas yeah. not on my list of likes but uh, we cancel all that right out Absolutely. we keep the professional things in you take that garbage over to hey, MySpace where it all belongs. That's, well, that's what I'm saying. So uh, I appreciate you sharing some insight with us about uh, Facebook profiles. Done with me for the day. I think that's about it for uh, for videos. And uh, we, uh, check out our website, www.growsocial.com, or you can follow uh, me at Tom R. Barry on Twitter. I'm at Graham Specter. It's spelled just like the cracker. Yeah, and uh, Grow Socially as well, at Grow Socially. So we'll uh, see you next time being professional.